Hey everybody, it's Rafi from Zurb, and in this video I'm going to take you through installing the SAS version of Foundation. So if we hop over to the installation page here on the docs, you can see that there's a few ways to install the SAS version of Foundation. In this video we're going to be talking about the command line interface. So we have something called a CLI, and a CLI is basically a mini program that you're going to install on your machine and it's going to give you access to certain commands that just make installing a brand new SAS version of Foundation much easier. So you have access to the commands here and we're going to run you through from beginning to end of installing the Foundation CLI on your machine. So this is for an OSX machine, uh, so any Mac computer. If you're using a Windows computer, we actually have a different video that you can hop onto that'll be more specific towards a Windows machine. So we'll get started here. The first dependency that you're going to need is Node. So Node is a JavaScript uh, runtime. It basically works client side and uh, server side. Uh, we use it here to create parts of the CLI. So to install that, uh, you go to nodejs.org, and then right there on the home page, you have a download here. So this is a regular download. You download it, and then we're going to uh, unzip that once it's done downloading. So we'll continue through these menus here. Okay, and we'll install this. And it's going to ask for your password. So we'll go ahead and hit install software. And now it's going to start installing. Okay. So now that it has been installed and completed, we can go ahead and carry on with the rest of the installation. So the next thing you're going to need is to hop over to your terminal. So now that we have node installed, let's open up our terminal. Okay, so we'll open up our terminal. You can get into whatever folder you like to install projects on. That doesn't matter for this because what we're doing is we're installing a global command line interface. So that's what this dash dash global means. So it doesn't really matter what folder you install it on. So we'll go ahead and copy this command or you can hit the copy button over here. And we'll go ahead and paste that in. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run that command. And let me just explain what NPM is. NPM is the Node Package Manager, so that's this prefix here. And all Node commands start with NPM. So when you install Node, it also comes with NPM. And so right now this is going, uh, fetching foundation and installing all the packages that are necessary to run the SAS version. Okay, so looks like we ran into an error, and this error actually says that we have an access error. So what that means is uh, we need certain permissions to be able to install this uh, CLI on our machine. Uh, now we can circumvent that, and there's actually a little message here that if you get an EA or an e-access error, that we could put sudo at the beginning of our command. So this is one way to get around that. So we'll go ahead and try that again, this time with uh, sudo in front of it. So sudo npm install dash dash global foundation dash cli. And it's going to ask for your password. Okay, so now we put our password in there and it's installing all the packages. This will take a few minutes, so we'll go ahead and skip ahead. All right, so now the foundation cli is installed on your machine. We're already in a folder where we want to install our projects. So that's the sites folder. Now that we have the CLI, all we need to do is just run a command to start the project. So let's go ahead and run through how that works. So we're going to type in foundation new. So this is one of the new commands that you can now use on your computer. So foundation new starts the CLI. And it's going to take you through a couple options. So 
do we want to build a website? Do we want to use foundation for apps or do we want to build an email? So we want to build a website. So that's foundation six. And we're going to name our project. Okay. So we gave our project a name and now we can choose the basic template or the Zurb template, which we call the Zurb stack. So we described the differences between these two in a different video, but if we were to choose the Zurb template and get all the goodies, it's gonna go ahead and start building that out for you. So I'm just gonna quickly explain what it does and then we'll leave it to another video to explain what comes in the Zurb stack and how to start using it. So the CLI is now installing all the dependencies that are necessary to run the Zurb stack. So because this is a SAS version of Foundation, we need to install things that compile SAS. We also need to concatenate the JavaScript. We also have dependencies that run auto prefixer. We're also installing browser sync. So it's automatically going to the web using Node and also Bower to install all the packages that are necessary to do all the different things that the uh, Zurb stack does. And it's doing that automatically for you, putting them together. And then when it's done, we can just run a single command to start our project. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead until this is done. It'll take a few minutes and then I'll show you how to start the project. All right, you're all set. The project is now installed using the foundation CLI. So you get a couple nice messages here. New project folder is created. Node modules are installed and Bower components are installed. So there's really just two commands that you'll need to run the project. Uh, so you can see that it says now run foundation watch. So Let's go ahead and CD into our new project. CD is change directory. So we'll change directory into our project. Okay, now we're in our project and we can run foundation watch. And you can also run npm start instead of foundation watch. They basically do the same thing. So now that we've run foundation watch or npm start, you can see that the project is starting up. So it's building the pages, it's clearing the cache, and it's starting browser sync, which opens a brand new tab for you, runs a local server at localhost 8000 by default, and you can change that. And this is actually your preview page. So every time you save your project, you change the HTML or the SCSS, you'll actually see those changes refreshed onto the page here. So really awesome. Now you can get started with making some amazing things with the foundation SAS version.